Happy. Ooh, y'all look a little greasy. Happy Monday. It's Fat Tuesday tomorrow here in Louisiana, and I am off. Thank God. Oh, goodness. I took off three days last week, and um, I just really chilled. I didn't really go too many places. Just been doing some soul searching and stuff like that. Sometimes you got to just spend time, quiet time, just be still, you know what I'm saying? So you can hear God's voice. That's what I've been trying to do because there's some things I want to do and some things I want to change and all that. And so sometimes we just go, 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 go. We don't sit and we just do what we want to do. We don't ask God for direction. And um, when I was younger, I didn't. But I do not. Ooh, these things looking big. <laughs> Ooh, loud. Ooh. Yeah, I got some big ones, y'all. But uh, I wear the underwire bra, and then and they, they're comfortable though. I don't have no problem with them. But how's everybody? Welcome about my new subscribers. It's all love over here, y'all. Um, your opinion matters. I appreciate your input. Um, constructive criticism. Because I realize as an, uh, uh, as an older woman, criticism helps us to grow. It does. I'm trying to... I can't see my... my um, it, the sun is so very, very bright right now. So I'm not going to stay on because y'all... I, I guess y'all don't want to see me anyway, huh? <laughs> but yeah, how's everybody doing? Prayers for Ukraine and all that's going on. You know, we got war coming out. You know, like I said... You coming out of one thing, going this COVID numbers are, are declining, but the war is, on, you know, our, our, our guys, our, our military going back to, well, they say we're not going to be fighting the war, but we're uh, assisting. So, but uh, that still puts them in home way in some shape or form. Um, again, uh, love, it changes situations, people, circumstances. If we let it, if we let it, you know. God is not the author of confusion. Yeah, there's going to be disharmony. There's going to be discontent, uh, disagreements and things. But, you know, you resolve things with a loving spirit and a kind heart. You know, yeah, people have said things or done things to me that I didn't like. And I pro people probably expected me to act a certain way. But I've always been... I've, I've been level-headed. And even when I saw red... I still thought about the consequences. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, always. And you know, some positions that we hold, you have moral torp torpitude. There's some things that you just can't do. Is 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 you do things that are immoral could possibly you could possibly lose your job behind it. So you know, in certain situations, that's why you know. People got to realize that your actions for your actions, there are consequences. And a lot of people, I'm grown. I can make my own decision. Yeah, you're grown to make your decisions, but can you handle what the consequences are? You know, if if a person that you don't even know telling you that you're going to self-destruct and you, you can't tell me anything. And what happens? Years later, months later, you self-destruct. But people, sometimes, you know, people they, people don't have to really know you, know you to see the things you're doing are causing um, harm. You're causing harm to yourself. Especially somebody that's been out there in the scene, been experienced things. You know what? You could let somebody else's life and testimony keep you from going down the same road. You know, hey, they did that this way and look what happened to them. I'm not going to let that happen to me. My friend was telling me the other day, say that her classmate told her, say, I was at a low time in my life. She said, and I hit that crack pipe one time and I wasn't ever let, able to let it go. Isn't that sad? Just one time instant addiction and my friend told me something she's a drug counselor she told me she said they were in a meeting and the guy told her he said people just don't understand when you hear about a drug so good it can kill you it makes you want to get it I was like huh she said yeah yeah it's so sad it is so sad and I talked about drugs before um, on my channel just about everybody knows somebody in their family addicted to drugs, whether they function with it or without. But, um, yeah, I just want to stop by and say hi. I don't come on very often. Um, 
you know, I, I work a job that's demanding and sometimes I'm mentally drained at the end of the day. So if you see me that, you know, I'm, I'm, I know where I am mentally and I have to keep myself in a good space, you know, golly, they got the cars lined up to go to the dollar store. Like it's like they got, uh, that they giving stuff away up in here. But anyway, yeah, so you have to stay in tune with your health and your wellness. You know, if, if you know how certain things do you a certain way or you're not feeling like your best, you know, you, you got to listen. Listen to your body, listen to your mind, listen to your spirit, you know. You got to stay in tune with those things so you could make good conscious decisions. Things that might affect you you know, your health, your finances, your career, all that. It's important. And, you know, I've learned, too, that I don't have to retaliate against people. Pray for your enemies. Yeah. Yeah. We've been instructed to do that. And just because a person don't agree with you, don't make them the devil. They just disagree. <laughs> Shoot. Their opinion matters just like yours. If you think what you do is right and they think it's wrong, it's a disagreement. That's all it is. All right, y'all. I ain't going to be on here long. It's Fat Tuesday tomorrow. I stopped at the store and I got my, um, they had strawberries, $1.77 a pound. So I bought three pounds yesterday or day before, and I bought three pounds today. I might go get three more if I go back out tomorrow because in the other store, a pound of strawberries is $4. So I almost got three where well, I got two and half of the other one uh, for the price I would have paid for one pound. And um, they, I tasted one of them. They're really good. But, you know, if you don't eat them in a day or two, you need to go ahead and wash them up and, and clean them and, and put them in freezer bags. That's what I do because I love to make my smoothies and my daiquiris with frozen strawberries. And so I want to do a strawberry margarita because I've been promised you I was going to do it. It may not be tonight. It'll probably be tomorrow night. Or so I'm going to come back and I'm going to share it. Nothing really special, but it's a very, 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 very <laughs> good recipe. And I'm not even, I don't even drink alcohol very often. But I just have a little things, that, you know, in my house and events. I want something, I got it. All right, y'all. Be blessed. Make someone smile. Much love. Bye.